guys, welcome back to Class of 09. We have five, no, yes, six, ah, six more endings that we need to do. I'm hoping that we can quickly get through these because there's another game that you guys, <laughs> I think you guys have been telling me about. They have a second game. So I'm just lucky that I got to upload this. If you're seeing this, it's good. Smash like for more. All right, so to start off again, you should go watch the whole playlist because like I'm reacting to all the endings and they all sort of build up on each other. So when I make a new episode, you might not understand what's going on. But anyway, this other ending that I haven't done is apparently an ending with Mr. White, who you know, every every teacher creeps me out. So there ain't no telling what the heck is about to happen. Too happy so. to be actually ha quite observant to make up for your tardiness. Perhaps you could help me out in the dark room. I need the chemicals cleansed for tomorrow's oh, he, class. He would like that. So we need to pick roll your eyes while agreeing. Okay. Sorry, I didn't even catch your name. You can call oh, me Mr. Sorry, sorry. It's Nicole. What's yours? You can call me Mr. White, but my friends call me Mr. Shooter. Okay, Why? Mr. White. So what's first? Well, you see, Nicole, I didn't actually call you in for chemical cleaning. Needed you alone to ask something else. I don't want to know. Here it comes. I don't want to no, know. No, no, no. Mind out of the gutter, please. Well, really? It's just you had a very striking look. Positively pure. I do a lot of freelance photography work outside of my teaching job here. How would you like to model for some community service hours? No. I don't. Dude, he's definitely gonna want something weird. I don't care what he says. He's gonna want something freaking weird. Way I'm getting naked on camera for the community. At least five hundred dollars. Naked? No. no, absolutely not. You're a minor after all. Oh, so just wearing. Oh, thank God. We finally have a semi-normal, decent human. I say that now, but <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna go bad. I already know. And baby oil gotcha. When is it? No, what? not that either. The shoot is this weekend at White Wheat Farms. Should be a nice, wholesome, sunny September day. Okay. okay, but the payment situation is... You'll get a free meal of your choice. Free food! All right, I guess we're going to save it here because I'm going to come back to here. We're going to do find the most expensive restaurant in town and do it. You know what? Sure. Let's go oh, to Olive splendid. Garden. <laughs> a nice, pure outing. Just me and my new, beautiful student, Nicole. I trust you'll brush up on your posing this week. Well, I bend over pictures. to pick up the paper, so it shouldn't be too hard. Then it's oh, settled. God. This weekend, a nice, bright shoot should really cleanse our minds of the muddied culture surrounding us. Don't you think? Whatever you say, dude. I'll be at home Googling expensive restaurants. And go to, a clever girl. Gotta go to that five-star restaurant, you know? Well, at that. A bright mind to match your bright complexion. Okay, bye. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's it. <gasps> oh, no. Your pure skin just wonderfully oh, fades no. out into the highlights <laughs> of the wheat behind you. Oh, yeah, I already know thanks. what's happening. Could you talk about something other than skin? It's like a dermatology fever dream. Sorry, Nicole. When something catches my eye, I just can't let it go. Oh, no. Where is this? of being a photographer. I'm scared. Okay. So, what's this thing on my shirt again? The Celtics logo or something? No, no. The Celtic cross. Just a graphic rich with heritage that complements the nice, wholesome imagery behind you. Is this a cult? You. Is that a cult Whatever thing? Whatever you say. I like how this crappy PNG of a camera. <laughs> so, are we done yet? And, yes, we are. It was a pleasure, Nicole. The pleasure was this all yours. This is strange. Uh, so, there's a steakhouse on the other side of town and... Yes, yes. I'll hold up my end of the deal. Don't worry. Ooh. But before we leave, I just wanted to What? Ask you, <laughs> do you enjoy being white? What? I mean, not sure how white I'll be after standing in the sun all day. No, sorry. Allow me to rephrase the question. Do you love the white American culture? Are you a proud white woman? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I knew it. I knew this wasn't going to be normal. Okay, we got to question his questions. Like, no, yes, who cares? Why are you so into whiteness? Sorry, I guess the questions mm. have been a tad much. There's just something about the color white. And it's not just my His last name, name is Mr. White. White's a pretty boring color, to be honest. I wouldn't call it boring, just pure. You're a photography student. Think of it like a camera. When you take the lens off and snap a picture, the image is just white. I actually did not know then that. Then you put it back on and focus, 
The shapes seen are merely obstructions, sullying the whiteness. Oh, no. This game pretty much tackles just about every crazy topic, I would assume. What the f does this have to do with anything? It's just a metaphor for a larger problem in this country. Oh, no, dude. We focus on other cultural obstructions so much that we've allowed Run, them to Nicole! mix with and tarnish Run! the initial whiteness that started it all. Huh. Yeah, I think I might get it. But could you give me an example of a cultural obstruction? Rap music. <laughs> what? It's that rap music. Hey, what about Eminem? He's kind of big. He's kind of a big deal. What do you have to say about that, Mr. White? Shame on you, Mr. White. He's making us look bad. Huh. Wow. Wow. So, I'm pretty sure the photography teacher is a white nationalist. This is his last name, like... <laughs> I said the tuna is good today, and you just replied with that. <laughs> oh, I, I... My favorite parts about these games are the, um... Just going into random scenes, starting off with an insane thing to say. <laughs> tuna sandwich. Remember how I told you I did that photo shoot with him? Yes, please, brag again. No, it's not that. Just the whole time he was saying this weird about whiteness and being white i guess it fits mr white's a white supremacist white nationalist Would have known. isn't it the same thing white supremacists assume white culture is the correct culture white nationalists politicize that so he's mr white listen i don't i don't even i don't even know anything about that stuff right and nor do i care white is a white nationalist pretty much everyone who goes here is a white supremacist oh that makes sense does it? Am I Does racist it? if I say no? <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a sh. That's just what Google told me last night. Oh, you well, Googled it, okay. Hey, guy at our school, shouldn't we do something? Like what? Even if we told someone, they won't do anything. If being racist got you fired, like, no one would have a job. Well, I'm kind of curious now. I think I'll go up and see what he's all about. Maybe catch him on something else. You coming with me? He knows you, right? The guy that I'm following, I don't want to spoil the ending, but the ending just like literally didn't say anything about this. So I was like, what? All right, I don't know what to say here because it doesn't really say, but we'll say non-racist girls gotta stick together. Yeah. What a lovely surprise, girls. Now, Nicole, you wouldn't happen to be recruiting another loyal white to our cause. Oh my God, it is true. We didn't even work it out of he him He just or literally anything. just says it. it. Really puts the proud in white He's like pride. so Judging by open your tones, about it. I'm starting to think neither of you are down for the purification of this nation. No sh Never Is mind. That why you're Forget teaching? everything I said about him. Uh, I had I had no idea, but I'm not surprised. Here to convert quirky art girls into clan members. Well, when you put it that way, it sounds too easy. The art school girls are absolutely terrified of black people. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You really think I'm a quirky art girl? No, it's just a broad example. Please just try to see this my way. The white pride parties understood the error of their no. ways in the 20th century. Since then, it's evolved from arson and lynchings. We simply wish to promote pride in our own heritage, just like the colored communities do. Colored communities? Oh, I'm sorry. People of color. How is that better? So there's black pride. That's fine. How is white pride any different? Proud about what? You already own everything. It's just a victory lap. If you don't cut this out we're gonna stop it you're two little teenage girls you have no power over me or my people maybe not but the principal does let's go Ugh, did not want to get this involved <laughs> go ahead and try Heck? Go, go ahead and try. If you look like me, you'd cheat on your husband too. Miss Lynn, <laughs> sorry, but this is kind of important. Hey, yeah, I'll call you. <laughs> what? You'll get the number for lip injections after. Okay, bye. You do illegal plastic surgery uh. out of your basement or something? No, my friend does. How can I help you girls? It's about Mr. White and photography. He's kind of- Stop. Stop. I get this conversation once a year. It's like, not another one, you please. About not another teacher. Unfortunately. And you're just okay with it? Absolutely not, but his defenses have my hands tied, I'm Defenses? Afraid. It's sick. I'd be inclined to agree. Another level of twisted, 
But he's made very strong cases for covering himself in peanut butter to pose for the students, so I'd rather not push the issue further. What? What the f*** are you talking about? Yeah, what? Oh, this isn't about that. Peanut You're here butter? to report he's trying to recruit his students for white nationalism rallies? Okay, this I didn't know about. Yeah, he asked me to pose for a weekend shoot and kept going on about how racially pure my skin was. You had your clothes on, right? Why wouldn't I? No reason. Go ahead. She's like, th th just gotta make sure this time that that's <laughs> that was the case, you so know? So we talked to him in the dark room, and he's just outwardly trying to sell us on a white pride. Oh man. Uh, well, that is cause for concern. Were any racial slurs used? Not really, but it's more like the overall content. I'm afraid I can't help you then. What? For a claim like that, you'd need pretty hard evidence to get him removed from the faculty entirely. Also, he may or may not have rather compromising photographs of me, so I'm Oh, he's got he's got dirt on you. Why? He may or may why not do have those why do those exist? Why do the photo <laughs> pictures of you in shirts? Cause I may or may not have been there. Actually, I may or may not have been covered in baby oil. <sighs> Just burn the whole school down. How about that? I, I, that's what I think they should do. Just burn the whole school down. Start over. It's time to move again, Nicole. Well, I guess racism wins. Can we see the pictures? Get out of my office. <laughs> why does the why do they exist? I, I just said the saying. Nicole, I'm trying to make a depression playlist on iTunes. What is it? Again? Well, nothing really. I'm just wondering why you've been so exhausted lately people mom you're being nice right trying to get along yeah and i'm pretty sure that's my problem never putting up a fight never telling men i'm not their emotional wheelchair well sweetie i'm not sure if being confrontational is the key to happiness you're a beautiful girl don't have an ugly personality have we done this already anyone. i feel like we've gone through this so i should like yeah, spread myself we did. thin so anyone can have a place in my life don't put it so negatively Give people All I'm a chance. saying is, be inclusive. No, no, no. Nicole absolutely should not give any of these people a chance. What if they're bad people? I don't believe in anyone being inherently Oh, yes, bad. they are. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, I guess the trying to abduct me on MySpace are just misunderstood. Okay, we've already done this. I could skip this part. But okay. whatever. Now my mom's addicted to again. How, is How do we get break? on this route again? Oh, I somehow, okay. I somehow went to the wrong route. Okay. We got to go back. Okay. So I was actually supposed to pick uh, the janitor. See if the janitor selling Xanax. Dude, I really don't want to get involved. You're smart enough. You can handle it. Are you saying that because you really mean it or just because you don't want to go? Can it be both? You're such a how? Because I don't want to see a white nationalist more than I already have to? You got me all worked up over this and you won't even dig into it with me. What kind of friend are you? I've known you for like a week. A We're week. the only two pretty girls in this lunch block. We're gonna end up best friends anyway. And that right there is why your loyalty check isn't working. Whatever, fine. I'll see you after school. Yeah, may as well. I actually have some counselor meeting for new student integration. Oh, good luck with that. Why are you saying it like that? The counselor is... Well, you'll see. Oh, in this... See, Nicole? Doesn't it just Oh my god. So she, in this, in this ending, she hasn't met the counselor yet. Was this supposed to be the first ending? It almost seemed like it was supposed to be. I totally did these in a weird order, I guess. It's great to openly talk about in a safe environment. Shut up! No, actually, not at all. Aren't you supposed to be asking me if I'm making friends or something? Eh, same old, same old. I prefer a different approach. Really getting into the dramatic psyche of our students. At your age, it's the number one thing on your mind. Dude, his Talking weird face. The man 20 years older than me is the first thing on my mind. Merely a societal taboo. A social construct, if anything. <laughs> huh? I just really Take want to know where this is going. Example. That brand of hatred was brought on by other people. Nothing intrinsically wrong with homosexuality. But then what's the next taboo to be lifted? Let's say if you and me dated outside of school. Oh my god, what a weird, what a weird loophole he's trying to take. N nuke the school. Nuke the school, <laughs> please. Here we go. Perhaps in our lifetime, a relationship with someone of my age and someone of yours wouldn't be so frowned upon. At the end of the day, no. love has no boundaries. Does that make sense? 
Are you dialed in here? Are you dialed I'm about in to here? Dial nine one one. Nonsense. What's wrong? Uh, I, I don't know what's worse. The fact that all these teachers are in the school, or it's the principal that just allows it all to happen because apparently she has a bunch of oiled up pictures somewhere. Call out his philosophy. You work at a school and you're giving me the age is just a number speech. Shouldn't you do that on your court date? Sorry, I don't play tennis. tennis. Hilarious. Perhaps you're just not ready for an adult conversation. You're still growing after all. Blooming That's the whole point! Woman. Yeah, That's so why I'm it's off wrong. limits. Are we done here? Well, one last food for thought. Oh my god. Your driver's license may say you're still a girl, but your body knows you're a woman right now. Prime for reproduction. Oh, what? Because I have a period? Not to get graphic, but yes. Nothing wrong with that. It's natural. So I should have had a baby at 13 then? No, just at 13. The baby coming by the time you're 14. I'm leaving. Theoretically, of course. Why is he yelling? Hmm. If she tells her parents, I'll just say she was acting out. How many years has he been working at this school? I don't know. Oh, hey, I was wondering where you were. God. Yeah, the counselor had me held up in there for a while. He didn't, uh... Defend He absolutely did. Yeah, he does that. Someone should say something, right? I would, but then I have to fill out paperwork, and honestly, they have me write enough in this place as it is. I know, yeah. So, how'd things go with Mr. White? Uh, okay, yeah, about that. So, I was talking to him, kind of confronting him, and... His arguments weren't that out there. Oh no, Jekka. I don't get it. He's a political oh, extremist. No, Jekka, stop. How is he not out there? See, we said that, but like, he asked me why it's okay to do black pride and Mexican pride, but not white pride. And I really didn't have an answer for him. Huh. So you just kind of backed off then? Well, not exactly. I kept asking more and more about it, and we actually agreed on a lot. He wants me to do a shoot with him this weekend for the White Pride Party's blog. Just don't. Just don't. And what'd you tell him? I said absolutely. Nothing wrong with being proud of your heritage. Why not? Plus 50 bucks for the day. Did he mention an ethno state for white people? He might have briefly gone into it. Mr. White kept telling me how pretty my skin was. I wasn't paying attention. What's an ethno state anyway? I don't know. A country where all the non white races are kinda exterminated. Oh, it's probably not even that serious. What? All I know is I'm proud to be white. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do all the endings, so we're gonna agree to disagree like a fence sitting liberal. You know what? Forget it. Just do what you want. That's, that's I'd the rather option. have a white nationalist lunch friend than no friend at all. Nicole, you rock. You can't let some silly politics get in the way of us, right? Yeah, sure. It's not worth getting worked up over. Cool. I'll see you at lunch tomorrow. Bye. <coughs> All right. Who where can is tell this me going? who our third president was? Show of hands. <sighs> yes? Thomas Jefferson? Very good. One of the more interesting presidents of the 19th century for a variety of reasons. Yeah, he had f with slaves. Gross. Quiet down. <laughs> now, who can tell me Jefferson's biggest achievement? I didn't know that. No hands? Okay, Nicole. Huh? No, I'm sorry. Huh was not one of his achievements. You were close, though. You hear how no one's laughing? Just answer the question. <laughs> Nobody's try. laughing. What was it again? Thomas Jefferson's biggest achievement. What was it? I don't know. Sorry, couldn't tell you. Come on, you didn't even try. Did it have something to do with the slave thing he said? No, please stay on subject. Because when you think about it, he's the first president to have an interracial relationship. That might make him the least racist president of all time until Obama gets elected. He literally owns Wait. slaves. Wait, Obama oh, because it's class of 09. Yeah, Obama wasn't a thing. Well, like he was alive, but like, I meant like he wasn't president. Oh God, when was it like, was, when was that? Or was he? When did he get elected? I don't freaking remember. I was in high school. I thought, eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Slaves. I guess we'll never have a non-racist president. Uh, no, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, yeah, I was joking. Thank you for derailing yet another class, Nicole. Tell that to the cross kid. He said the slave first. That is true. He did say that. Nicole, get it together! Oh, the God, government not, not forces him. me to be here, and you expect me to try at volleyball? God damn it, our team keeps f***ing losing, so f What's your problem? You f***ing whore, shut up! Oh my God. Hey, coach, are we just... Okay, no discipline for that one, go on. I did get into lacrosse camp, such bull... 
Well, maybe just get better at it. No, you don't understand. Like, there's all these dumbass underprivileged student passes. They're doing so many that like 20% of the sports are automatically filled. All these Mexican kids act like America's so racist when they got the red carpet rolled out for everything. You mean like affirmative action? I think that's what they call it. I call it Who's with me? We gotta say who freaking cares? Just shut up and pass the ball. I gotta serve. What? How could you side with that? No one gives a but you and men who smoke at chain restaurant bars. Oh yeah, nothing matters unless you care. I see how it is. I can see you just assume is. you won the argument so I can stop hearing this? Women gotta go too, dude. I wanna move to the Middle East, a country that stones loud women to death. Dude. Sorry, what country is that? I, I like Kyler in the other endings when he was stupid, but this is just crazy, dude. I, just Not, said I don't like anybody. <laughs> I literally don't like anybody in this game everybody in this game is completely awful the uh, least for such a smart ass you don't know books too good you don't know books but that's too beside good. the point just get your grades up nicole uh, it's just it's uh -huh. just like watching a train and wreck also, every if you ending could stop writing death to on all the whiteboards that would be <laughs> great promoting violence is so vulgar but don't deserve to die nicole no one deserves to die Wow. The way he talks really is so annoying. You. I used to be as brash as you at a young age, but then I found a release so satisfying it drained every drop of anger I had. Was it? Oh, how dare you? Oh, he's getting you angry. Say no. That, that's enough for today. Kindly leave. Finally, goddamn. She almost got me that time. She almost got me. Dang, this ending oh, is also cool. very you long. Too? Yeah, it's my heritage. Oh, no. I have to support it. He's recruiting the whole the cross school. Is kind of stretched out on my shirt. No, it looks fine. I don't know. I'll probably see Mr. White to trade it in for a shirt. I could have sworn there were less of you last week. Hey, Nicole, where's your heritage shirt? My what? Oh my God! You know, they literally got the whole this school. Grand cause. Grand cause. No, Jeffrey, you're making it sound weird. What we mean is like we're just down for our heritage you know <laughs> why would i care about that when you think about it everyone's kind of against us as white people you know there's nothing more punk rock than being white the only people in punk rock are white yeah so come on nicole you gonna join or what you're the last girl who hasn't signed up for the white pride party we love a pretty girl like you to become one of us sorry um what are the benefits benefits of what exactly white nationalism like what's in it for me well you get these kick-ass shirts for one i know what's they just in it want, for me they just want a shirt before everyone just avoided me like i was a freak or something but then jekka saw me crying in the hall alone and invited me to the white pride party now i really belong somewhere that's how it and always you can happens too. that's how it always happens so for you it's a club for easy social acceptance well kind of but everybody already hits on me. I'm not desperate for social acceptance. I guess there's that. So let me ask this. Now that you're in this club, do girls talk to you now? Not really. But the guys, they always talk to me now. Like for fun, to socialize, or to give you pride party orders? Uh, well the orders are fun, so kind of both. All right, we gotta get a video of this mess. There's no way any of this is gonna end good like it ever like it ever does to be honest. But, yeah. So what are the orders? Do you guys do a bunch of chants or something? For sure, dude. Yeah, we could show you some if you like. Well, I was wondering if I could maybe take a video of it just so I could review at home and practice. Oh, so you're joining? I didn't say that, but maybe this could convince me. All right, you better start rolling. Aryan brothers assemble. Oh no. Yeah, we doing the chant? No. Oh yeah, we're doing the chant. White Dude. pride worldwide. I don't white think I can pride. upload this. Awesome, white you're doing great, guys. I don't think guys. I can upload this one, so guys. How about it, Nicole? You gonna join? I don't know. You really made a convincing argument with this. Can I take this video home and watch it a few times? Sure. I can come over and do more chants too, if you'd like. Uh, no, nah, that's okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload this one, guys. I, I really don't okay, think so. Let's see what the Nation of Islam forums have to say about this. Upload. I like her Black Parade uh, poster, though. So, right after I uploaded that video to the NOI forums, it was immediately shared everywhere. 
sheer to the point of Minister Farrakhan seeing it and ordering a full-scale arson assault on the entire they school. They burned the school down! He kind of just posted that, and I'm not even sure if it was the real and Farrakhan, I don't know who that is. you know, but I called in sick anyway. Sucks to be in the white pride party. They burnt the whole school. Well, that's exactly what I said they should do and they did it. What? <laughs> Honestly, like that school too crazy, man. It was way too crazy. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So apparently there's a second ending to that one. All right. We got to say, see how racist he'd be with the female attention. You know, Jeffrey, this may be sudden, but like, you want to take me out later? kill you i couldn't do that nicole what, what? Uh, unless of course mr white told me to no i mean like take me out on a date D date <laughs> you mean like dinner you mean with the hugging and, and the kissing yeah all of it but you're pretty busy with all this white pride stuff she's trying huh? to pull him out of it oh uh, well not that busy I gotta egg a synagogue this Friday, but I could make time. What? Uh, you know, this Friday is like my only free day for the next, like, forever. So damn, too bad. W what? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, hey what's up? Hey Long guys. time no see. Jeffrey, I just wanted to remind you that you need to bring the extra large eggs this Friday. We need a big splat. Of course. Yeah. About that. Oh, oh my God. God. I don't want to hear it. I'm so busy as it is. Seriously, if you this up, you're out. Jeffrey, what about our date this Friday? What the f is this? I thought you'd die for this cause. Sorry, Jekka, but I kind of just did this because no one else would talk to me. But now that Nicole's asking me out, well, having a girlfriend's way more important than the final solution. The final Dude, solution? What? You little race traitor. Mr. White trained me for this moment. Arian trained? Students. Imperial Scribe Jekka! How may we serve you? Jeffrey here is no longer our brother and Dude, he must be eliminated. So... Take care of him. Finally, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I hated being seen with him on rallies. Uh, uh, oh, Nicole, we just gotta take care of a little this business here. This so but crazy you hang out so fast. School? Are you actually just gonna have him killed right here? Well, duh, but it's just politics, you know. Help me! All right, where's this going? So, how's Mr. White doing? Well, he gave medals to everyone who killed Jeffrey, so I take Oh, Jeffrey's dead happy. now. Okay. But can I vent? Like, they're not even medals, just little shirt pins. Yeah, fatal excommunications, definitely one of the less gratifying felonies. At least when you rob a bank, you get money. Speaking of Mr. White, he's like obsessed with you. Still? Always asks about you, always talks about you. What was the last thing he asked? He asked if Montana sounded like a good name for a death camp. No, about me. Always about you. Okay. Well, he wasn't really asking. Just wondering aloud if your hair was too dark for you to bear racially pure children. What the f- What? I know. It's so obvious you dye it, right? Right. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, Nicole's gonna get it. Nicole's gonna get it. It's been about three weeks now since I've gone to school. Once the news hit they killed Jeffrey, the literal FBI stepped in and expelled all the oh, white they nationalists. they literally dyed her hair. The end, right? Well, see, like, 95% of the school were in the white pride party, including the teachers. No teachers, no students, no school. Jekka sent me a Polaroid well, of herself Jekka? in prison, and she's already covered in the Aryan tattoos. Oh, no. So it really makes you think. Makes you think about how indifference leads to a whole bunch of stupid. All right. All right. Well, then, I think that's about enough for today, huh? Yeah, that was that was a thing. Today's group of the day goes to. Sushi Sauce Studios. 